Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and so let's begin. And so first, I'm going to do long division. So then we think 2x squared times what gives us 6x squared? That's going to be 3. And so next, we have to multiply it out. So 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared. 3 times x is 3x. Then we're going to subtract. So negative, negative. So it cancels out. And then we have negative 3x plus 5. So let's write that down. Negative 3x plus 5. And this will be our remainder. So now we can rewrite our integral. So we'll have now 3 plus. In the numerator, we're going to have negative 3x plus 5. And in the denominator, because it's a remainder, we're going to have 2x squared plus x, close it, dx. At this point, we're going to split it up. The integral of 3 will give us 3x. And this piece, I'm actually going to rewrite it. So I'm going to say plus the integral, negative 3x plus 5 divided by, I'm going to factor out an x. So x parentheses, 2x plus 1, close it, dx. Now, because the power of our denominator, x squared, is bigger than the power for our numerator, we're going to have to go ahead and use partial fractions. And so I'm going to need more room. So at this point, I'm just going to focus on this piece right here. I'm even going to ignore this integral symbol. So I have negative 3x plus 5 divided by, we have x parentheses 2x plus 1, close it, is equal to, I'm going to say a divided by x plus b divided by 2x plus 1. And to get rid of the denominator, I'm going to multiply everything by x times 2x plus 1. And so this is going to get canceled out, and we're going to get negative 3x plus 5 is equal to a times. So these two pieces are going everywhere. So it's like a times x times this. So the x's are going to cancel, and we're going to get 2x plus 1 plus b times just x. And then we're going to expand. So 2x times a, we get 2ax, 1 times a, so plus a plus bx. And now we're going to create two systems of equation. So one focusing on x, and so we can say that negative 3 is equal to 2a plus b. Likewise, we can do one focusing on the constant, so 5 and a. So 5 is equal to a. So we know a, a is 5. And once we know a, it's going to be easy to get b. So we just need to swap. Negative 3 is equal to 2 times 5 plus b. And so we get negative 3 is equal to 10 plus b. We're going to subtract 10, subtract 10. So b is equal to negative 13. So we know a, we know b. Now we're just going to swap. Now we'll need to do this in another page. But first, let me rewrite before I do it in another page so we can see everything. So this 3x, we keep 3x plus. Now this is where it changes. We're going to get the integral, a is 5, so 5 divided by x dx plus b is negative 13. Negative 13 divided by 2x plus 1 dx. Because again, this piece right here, we have an integral of it. Now this piece will be very easy to solve. This piece we can use u substitution, so we can say that u is equal to 2x plus 1 then du is equal to 2 dx. From there, we could say that du divided by 2 is equal to dx. And so let's do that. So we have 3x plus the integral of 5 divided by x is going to give us 5 ln, the absolute value of x, plus c. But we're going to deal with a plus c here too. This negative 13, I'm going to put in the front. So negative 13, the integral, 1 divided by 2x plus 1 we know is u. And dx, we know it's du divided by 2. So times du divided by 2. So now just focusing on this piece. So this 2 will bring it to the front. We're going to get negative 13 divided by 2. Now we have the integral of 1 divided by u, which we know is ln, the absolute value of u, plus c. Finally, we can just swap. So we're going to get 3x plus 5 ln, the absolute value of x, minus 13 divided by 2, ln, the absolute value of u, but we know u is 2x plus 1, so let's swap it back. 2x plus 1, close it, plus c. And this right here is our final answer. And that's all we need to do for this problem.